Kargil war highlighted the exemplary high altitude mountain warfare capabilities of Indian army and the indomitable spirit of our soldiers. On the other hand, this war also pointed towards some intelligence failure and dangerous gaps in some vital capabilities. The Indian army had to endure increased fatalities due to these gaps and intelligence failure. One such gap that was observed by our armed forces was the incapability of the Russian Mi-25 and Mi-35 attack helicopters operability in the thin atmosphere of the high altitude regions along LOC. In order to dislodge the Pakistani intruders from these high altitude regions, IAF's MI transport helicopters were modified and equipped with 57mm pocket pods with each helicopter equipped with four pods. However, this was not the optimum solution as these helicopters were vulnerable to anti-aircraft fires and man pads. But then there was no option. The need for an attack helicopter was first felt by the Indian Armed Forces during the 1999 Kargil War after a missile formed mark and stuck one of its four MI transport helicopters which led to its drowning and killed all four on board. This loss was learned from and post-war. The need for a dedicated attack helicopter able to operate in high altitude regions along the LOC was recognized. And then began the journey towards the accomplishment of a dream which has now been fulfilled. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited worked for two long decades to give Bharat its first indigenous attack helicopter, LCH Prachand. Pachand is a twin-engine light attack helicopter which is tailored for Indian armed forces which have to operate in high Himalayan regions. This makes Pachand stand apart from any other attack helicopter. Even in extremely thin atmosphere, Pachand is agile and is able to carry substantial payload. It is designed to comfortably operate from helipads at over 4,800 meters and is the world's first attack helicopter to have landed in Siachen. The operation ceiling of Pachand is 6,500 meters or 21,000 feet, which is a feat no other attack helicopter can do. Further, the hovering ceiling of Pachand is 4 kilometers and the endurance time is more than 4 hours. It can land and take off at 14,000 feet with full payload with a plume. Prachand was designed for its use in close air support, anti-tank warfare, armed reconnaissance and counter-insurgencies. It is a 5.81 class state-of-the-art helicopter in which a narrow fuselage has been featured. Besides, tandem seating configuration was decided for the pilot and the co-pilot where the two men sit one behind the other. This allowed a sleeker, more agile design. The maximum speed of the helicopter is 268 km per hour with a range of 750 km. Various acoustic and infrared IR signature reduction measures were incorporated into the helicopter's design. This reduces the enemy's chance of detecting and engaging the helicopter. Another astounding feature of this LCH is that it has a crash-absorbing landing gear and a self-filling fuel tank which increases the survivability of the helicopter in case of a crash or a combat mission. The Chand is an all-weather helicopter and can operate in day and night with equal aplomb, besides being useful in all kinds of terrains and has been very stable in operating in high-speed windy weather conditions such as in Ladakh, where pilots endure air turbulence during operations. It is integrated with world-class sensors which enable it to detect, track and engage enemy forces. Although its designation is light, Pachan packs a heavy punch. Fully loaded, Pachan can carry a payload of 950 kilograms on four hard points which are located in its wings. The payloads may vary from dump bombs to rockets to precision-guided munitions 
or missile air to air missiles. This allows Prashant to fend off any enemy aircraft intruding into its operational airspace. The helicopter is also equipped with a French 20mm auto cannon fitted right under its nose, which can destroy enemy troops and equipments to shreds. The chopper can be armed with 16 80GM anti tank missiles in a 4x4 configuration, 4 missiles by 4 launchers. With 15 of these machines already inducted into the Indian Armed Forces, 10 with the IAF and 5 with the Indian Army. A further order of 156 more is in pipeline, with 90 for the Indian Army and 66 for the IAF. This is significant and shows the might of the Indian forces to unleash a fury, should the need arise. Jai Hind!